Hello everyone, welcome to the beautiful Villa Rothschild, which is in Cap Ferrat. We came here today to spend a, a pleasant sunny day at the gardens of this villa. Today is very windy by the sea, so to spend the, a day at the French garden is the best idea for today. And um, if you are traveling to the um, Côte d'Azur and uh, you're visiting saint jacques cap ferrat you will find a lot of information about this famous villa. It's open for the visitors and it's like an, um, a museum, home museum of Beatrice, the Baroness, the Rothschild. And she made her villa a true heaven for art collection with the porcelain furniture and the paintings. So if you travel to, the, to this place, it's for you to decide whether pay 15 euro entrance fee and visit this beautiful house and uh, enjoy the imaging yourself even in the period of the Belle Epoque. Our imagination was disturbed by a stomach of our son who was a bit hungry, it's not yet lunch time and now we are at the restaurant of this villa. So if you reserve the table, you can spend a few hours more here without unnecessary rush and enjoy the beautiful view. But we didn't reserve the table and it was fully booked for this lunch. We're in the middle of November, imaging in the summertime. So we just uh, took a coffee and some cakes. There are also a tea room which is open at summertime and spring outside at the terrace overlooking the garden. We we'll continue our visit. It's like an uh, art gallery. Hard to believe that it's a home of someone. I love the story of this villa. Beatrice, she was the daughter of the Baron Alphonse de Rothschild, a banker and an art collector. At the age of 19, Beatrice married a Parisian banker, but he was a gambler and his debt totaled over 12 million gold francs. So worried about the future, the Rothschild family decided to bring him to court. Wow. They divorced. The divorce allowed her to concentrate on her passion of collecting art. After her father's death, she inherited his huge fortune and decided to build her dream home in the Riviera. When she first discovered this plot of land, 
She was immediately seduced by the beauty of the surroundings and she purchased this without hesitation. The house became a backdrop for the impressive art collection. Because of this, we can today admire a very richly decorated villa from the Belle Epoque. Now we're at the terrace of the villa, overlooking the beautiful French garden. How sunny is it today? Beautiful. There are nine gardens in a total to visit that we will show you later. But in the French garden located directly in the front of the villa, you have a fountains. So the fountains dance to the rhythm of classic music every 20 minutes. You have a stunning view from this terrace. Beatrice made the villa her winter residence and came here regularly, dividing her time between Paris and Monaco. You can find some furniture once belonged to Marie Antoinette. This is impressively beautiful home. We finished our visit and uh, now we're going out to the gardens. <laughs> the whole property is made up of a beautiful villa that we just visited and nine surrounding gardens, each in a different style. A year earlier her death, Beatrice transferred the ownership of the property and her collections to the Paris Academy of Fine Arts, who still manages the building on the French Riviera today. So there are nine gardens on the state. A Spanish, Florentin, Japanese, Mexican, Stone, French. So each in a different style, allowing you to admire the blooming vegetation at any time of the year. C'est trop beau! I was so excited to be in this bamboo paradise in the middle of the Côte d'Azur. It was impressive for me. And uh, now we are just in front of the villa. Jardin la Française. We're gonna stay here sometime, listen to classical music and watching dancing fountains.
And we are wishing you to have a beautiful Sunday. And thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.